Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an HTTPS endpoint for file upload to Amazon S3 bucket with using Amazon API Gateway and AWS Lambda. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo. Here, we're going to construct a solution which will create an HTTPS endpoint which will help us to upload the file with using the secure HTTPS endpoint. So the solution will be constructed with using three services of AWS that is Amazon um, API Gateway which is backed by AWS Lambda, which in turn receives the payload from the Amazon API gateway, converts that payload into an image and finally uploads into Amazon S3 bucket, right? And here we can use this Amazon API gateway from Postman or from using the any kind of programmatic way. For example, say with in Python, we can use the request module and I know and invoke this Amazon API, you know, gateway. Yeah. All right. So basically, this is what I'm going to show you in this demo. So without delay, let me take you to the my AWS account. So this is my AWS account. Um, currently, I am in um, Oregon region. Likewise, I have opened the another tabs, another two tabs. One is meant for uh, you know the AWS Lambda purpose. So I have a AWS Lambda been pre-created already, and then I have an Amazon S3 bucket which I also created here. So this is the Amazon S3 bucket which I have created. Okay, so don't get confused. All the three tabs belongs to my AWS account and belongs to Reason Oregon, right? So here I have created an API, uh, and the name of the API is something like this. That is Face Recognition API. I've just given for just for the demo purpose. In that one, I have created a resource called Upload because this demo deals with the an uh, an operation with AWS S3 bucket just to upload a file. So here in this one, we have uh, you know created a method called so basically, if I go to the method, that is, uh, you know, we have created a post method. In that one, so the post method definition some, looks something like this. First one, let me introduce to the integration request configuration that you need to maintain for proper, you know, proper working of this particular solution. So here, integration type would be AWS Lambda. And uh, before you construct the Amazon, so here, uh, AWS API Gateway, yeah, you must have your Lambda, you know, created. So that becomes a prerequisite. So here I have already constructed or created AWS Lambda like this. And then I have started to create an API gateway, right? So here you choose the integration type equal to AWS Lambda. And then you're going to choose the region where your Lambda is sitting. So my Lambda is sitting in US West 2, that is Oregon region. I selected the Lambda and then execute role. So you can keep it all default and then use the default timeout. Yeah. All right. So with that, you need to leave the other options that is URL path, URL query and just HTTP header, leave it default go to the mapping template. So the mapping template is something which is very important configuration, which you need to maintain it a proper way. So here in the request body pass through, you know, you're going to select the where there is no template. So select this one in the content type, you add a content type. So in the sense here, in my case, I'm going to show you how to upload a PNG file into the uh, S3 bucket. So likewise, if you want to upload the PDF file, JPG file or any other format, you can create those kind of content types here so i created a content type called application for slash png and then in this one so i have left the the generate default option so in this one we're going to choose like you know the method request pass through and then click on a save button right so with that configurations you are done with the method execution configurations or indeed the integration request then let's go to the method request configuration in the method request configurations there is an option called API key is required or so basically when you create a method so you must select API key is required because since you are exposing this HTTP endpoints to the public you know you should have some authentication to prevent you know the the you know unauthorized usage so for that case here we have uh, used uh, you know the the API key required equal to true yeah all right in the request body so just keep all other options default so if you select if I select my configurations just follow me so basically you can keep other configurations as expected in the sense just keep it default yeah so once the resource is created you can go ahead and uh, and deploy the api yeah so once you deploy the api it will ask you the give the stages and also here i have created a stage name called version one and then so if i go click on this one so this is the, my stage i have created and then this is the uh, post method which is actually uh, required yeah all right so this is all the you know configurations which we do to configure the APIs. There's a one more things which you need to keep the configuration in place is, you know, go to the settings. In the settings, you know, so you have to go to the uh, binary media type. And here you need to, 
you know copy paste your media which we have configured earlier in the integration request that is application for slash png because we are using the png yeah and here in the api source key you know choose uh, in the api key source choose headers all right so this is the configurations again you need to maintain in a stages so remember that you know you are first you created an api then you created the resources then you stage the resources in the sense you have set created a stage of the resources here it is it is a version so or basically production something like that yeah all right and then we go to the api keys so here i have created an api key because here you know we are actually you know authorizing our https endpoint with using api key so we should create an api key so to create an api key just click on a create api key give the name and uh, api key just say auto generate and save it so you will so you will have a api key you can just click on a show you will have the api key all right and then let's go to the api usage plan so you need to create an api usage plan so click on a create api usage plan give the name uh, give the configurations of throttling quota yeah so in my case if i open and show you so these are all the details i have uh, added you know in the sense api key so these are this is the api key i have added yeah and then uh, so if you open so it will take you to the same api key which we have added so in the uses if you go to the uses plan i have created a uses plan something like that and attached the api key which we have created yeah and in the details you know so basically what you are doing is you need to maintain these configurations at api gateway side all right so once this has been done i'm going to take you to the um, the aws lambda side in the aws lambda side what you need to what are all you need to do the configurations here you just create a aws lambda give the right permissions to the aws lambda so in my case uh, you know um, basically have a im role which has access to the aws s3 bucket and has the trust the that role has to be trusted by the uh, basically the amazon you know the um, aws lambda uh, principle okay so basically that's kind of configuration you can maintain if i can show you that im role i can show you here go to the uh, permissions uh, here and click on the im role that you have attached so here this is the im role which i have attached to this particular role yeah and then um, while that role is getting opened i'm gonna go to the general configurations these are all the general configuration i have maintained in my lambda and uh, in the trigger so it does not has any kind of triggers you can just uh, if you see here that it will be automatically added uh, these triggers because you know because we have uh, we have integrated uh, you know the uh, api gateway right that's the reason this will be automatically added you don't need to worry about it all right okay so now um, i will go to the im role i was talking more on this one in the trust relationship you know you need to maintain that it will be trusted by you know aws lambda yeah and then let's go to the code side in the code side so this is the code which i have constructed uh, you know so that it will convert the binary data into a image file and then finally it will upload so this code will be shared in the video's description i have i will be uploading this file to my github and the github repo link will be uploaded in this video's description you can find it from there so here it does nothing but just it creates a, a s3 bucket client uh, reads the event nothing but it just reads the you know the basically uh, the binary content of the um, of the image yeah and then it will decode that binary content into base 64 and then um, so then you know then finally it will upload into the so it will upload into the uh, s3 bucket with using put object api yeah so here we i'm using the random key generator so that i can randomly create a file name and upload into s3 bucket and finally if everything is gone good it will return a status saying like you know https 200 all right so that's the configuration which i maintained on the lambda side all right so right now i have uh, created a s3 bucket if i go back to the my code so the bucket name i have given is this is the bucket name yeah and that is where my bucket name is here all right so with this configuration we are actually set with the the solution here so that is we constructed an amazon api gateway we return a lambda we return the amazon s3 bucket and they all these resources are connected each other right now time has come to test the solution so what i do is i'm going to go to the api gateway go to the api gateway click on the your api yeah, so if you go to the apis you might have multiple apis choose your api which you have constructed for this uh, solution and go to the stages click on version you will see a url here so copy this url all right and go to the postman so first let me show you how to run this solution with using you know postman so here this is your base api url 
then forward slash the resources. If you open this, there is a resource called upload. So in that one, we are using method post. So remember and use the same thing here. So I have constructed my complete API URL, something like this, chosen the method post. Yeah. All right. So with that, now let's go to the, the other parameters that we need to pass when we hit the HTTP post method, post method, right? First one in the header side, we need to add these headers. One is key equal to content type and it should be application for slash whatever you have given in the configuration. Here is the PNG file, which I wanted to convert. Yeah. Or which I want to upload into S3 bucket. Then X hyphen API key, which is nothing but the API key that you have created, uh, uh, you know, for the authentication of this API, right? So if you go to the API key and click on a show, so this is the API key. Don't worry, I'm going to delete this API key after the demo. So you don't need to try it from your side. All right. And then here we have kept the API. So these are all the configurations you need to keep in a header side. Now on the body side. So in the body side, what you can do is you can go ahead and select a file, something like this. So in my case, I'm just uploading this file. Yeah. So that is a very beautiful, uh, you know, nature pick. If I go to this file. All right. So if I go to this file and show you from the VS code. So this is very nice file, which we're going to upload into the S3 bucket. And we see that, you know, this image image gets uploaded into the S3 bucket. So here, if I go to the S3 bucket right now, it does not has any object. I'm refreshing it again. And I'm also making this demo very partial, you know, very transparent. There is no other. So in the sense, basically the configurations meet here are to be real and, you know, to the point. All right. So right now, it, this bucket does not has any object for your information. All right. Now, what I do is, you know, we're going to hit the end point from the, uh, uh, from the postman. So for that case, what I did is I have uploaded that image file selected it from the my local laptop and all set so in the sense basically i all set with my configurations click on send you should be receiving response status equal to 200 which means that you know file is is actually uploaded you see the internal error so basically it looks like something is error here if i go to the um, internal server error here yeah so basically looks to be something has gone bad so let me try it again Yeah, so something is error here. So if I go to the uh, uh, PNG, yeah, let me convert. Let me try to run the same code from the uh, my Python file and let me see if this works. So basically, it is not working from the uh, you know so from the um, from the postman. So it says request is too long. So basically, why it is request is too long because if I go to this file and this file size is you know so basically uh, you know. Um, it's the file size is basically more than 5 MB, right? So if I go to the, so this is very good learning for us. So if I go to the images, um, and the image, uh, the image size, if you see it is 5 MB and that's the reason it is not able to send the image. Okay. So for now, what I do is I will just, uh, choose the, you know, the, another example, my thumbnails, let me use this file. Okay. So if I go to the images, so this is very good learning because it is not able to send the. 5mg file through this API gateway. Yeah? Remember that. All right. So if I go ahead and, and keep the another file. So this time I'm going to upload this my thumbnail, which I have created uh, for the my video purpose. So what I do is if I show you the size of this file uh, by going to the properties. So properties and see the size of the file. So this is only like 120 KB. So it should be uploaded. So in that case, what we do is we're going to change the file name here. Uh, first, let me show it from the, uh, from the, you uh, know, the uh, postman. Then I can show you how you can do it in a programmatic way in the, in the Python. So I'm going to upload the, re-upload the file. So this time it is 01 PNG file. So I'm going to hit upload. Here we go. So file is uploaded here. If I go to the S3 bucket and, and refresh the console, we see that, you know, the file is uploaded to make you confirm. You can download this and check it. So if I download this, I'll click on download and just open the file. Here you go. The file is uploaded into the S3 bucket. So remember that a file, if the file size is too big, it is basically not, I know. So basically it is not passing through the API gateway, which needs an extra configuration, which you, which you can take it help from the AWS. All right. So now, um, we have shown you how to invoke the API from the postman side. Now let's do a bit more. That is how to invoke this same thing from the Python side. Click on that. Uh, course snippet uh, button and then choose the your favorite language here. So my favorite language is Python. 
and in that one request method so what you do is you're going to copy this yeah so this is the uh, this is the same code which i have copied and constructed uh, you know uh, i constructed a you know so basically uh, example.pf file which i'm going to share this file as well along with the lambda file in my uh, github repo and the link of the github repo is shared in this video's description you can find it from there all right so here the code is i'm going to i'm going to use the request method uh, io method then i'm going to use the pillow um, you know so basically you need to install um, so you need to install the you know the pillow module of the python that is pip install pillow module click on this one so basically which will install pil module in your system right so it's already satisfied because i have installed and then only you can realize or then only you can use this module yeah and then then the natural one that is import os which is default library of aws and then this is my url and i have uh, added the dummy print i'm going to remove that and then comes why so here i have imported pillow module why did why did i do that because i want to convert the image this is the hard code image in the sense uh, yeah this is um, this is not the right image because that is very too big image i want to i want to go to the uh, 120 mb uh, image that is 0 110 yeah all right so here what we are doing is we are reading the image converting into the byte stream here and uh, and uh, and saving in the format of png and getting the binary value of the image so basically every image or every image file present in your system could be converted into a binary you know binary values and that is what i am doing and that value is passed as an input to the api payload so here my header is i am constructing the header with the content type equal to application png remember that you know it should be equivalent to whatever you are given in the api gateway and then it comes that this is the api key we need to give it if you don't give it you're going to have the you know the unauthorized error and then we are invoking the uh, uh, request method with a method called post url headers and the binary value of the image that's all so the, basically this is what you know i have constructed the python file and this file could be used for automation purpose so i'm going to invoke this it will going to upload the duplicate copy of the same thing so if i go to the s3 bucket again and refresh the uh, file we should have the two files now so this is the file which i just now got uploaded you can download it again see it so i'll download it again and if i open it you see this is the file you know which is you know uploaded so basically what i have shown you is so here i have showed you how to construct an https endpoint for uploading the file into amazon s3 bucket with using api gateway and lambda all right so this kind of api gateway really helps us to build your automations at your applications at your any kind of business workflows could be automated with using this method all right so with that note i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video